Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to go ahead and film a first impression on the James Charles palette. I've been having it sitting here in my collection probably about a week now, but I just really wanted to wait and record it on video so I can let you guys know what I think. And this is the look that I came out with. It came out really good. But if you guys want to see how I created this, just keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as I already said in the intro, um, I have a palette that I just got that I want to review. It's the James Charles palette. Like, since the moment I saw it, I was just like, I have to have that, like, all the pretty colors. Like, I have so many different palettes that so will have similar colors, but not, like, every color in the rainbow. But this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Very pretty. Like, look at this yellow. The green. I don't have any colors. Like, well, I have a yellow, but not, like, this yellow. I have more, like, orangey. And this green's really pretty, but... I really want to get use out of this palette and try like these really like bright colors like this purple probably gonna use this purple and this pink so let's just jump right in I already did my foundation I primed my eyes and yeah so let's just get started I'm gonna go ahead I don't even know what color to use first I'm probably gonna use like this mauvey tone first right here so I'm just gonna dip into that and I'm gonna blend that into the crease Hopefully none of these shades have like a lot of color. Oh, this color is really pretty. It's actually pretty soft. So I'm thinking of doing like a cut crease, maybe like pink, like blown out pink and purple. And then on the lid, that really pretty like glittery purple. I hate this eye because this eye always comes out so much better than this eye. Better. I'm just going to grab a bigger fluffy brush and just blend this out. Now, I think I should hop into that either the really hot pink. Yeah, I think I just might. I'm gonna go between this hot pink color and this like magenta color. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's see, let me get like a fluffy kind of brush. I'm just gonna mix both of them and I'm just gonna go with that in the crease. Just a little under the first shade that I put. Oh, that looks pretty. And again, I'm just gonna put most of the product in the outer corner, and then whatever's left, just bring it to the front. And I know it's kind of kind of sloppy, kind of choppy right now, but since I'm gonna do cut cream, so I'm not like really worried about it. Super like creamy. But then again, all the Morphe palettes, they're like really good quality. And then to deepen the crease a little bit, I'm going to go back into that um, the, the magenta shade I said. I'm going to go, oops, it's a really big palette. So I'm going to go back into this one and then probably a little bit of this one. And I'm just going to put that in the, the outer V. I haven't done like really vibrant colors like these in a long time. Yeah, it looks really pretty. That's really bright. I think I might even use like that yellow. I don't know. I think I might just put that like in the inner um, inner corner. I don't know, something different. And then to like diffuse um, the crease, I'm gonna use like a lighter color just to like get that transition. I'm probably gonna go with this light, like baby pink color. So I'm just gonna blend this out and then I'm gonna just cut the crease so I could put that uh, purple shade on the lid. I actually went ahead and added a little bit of that like corally shade and I just added it right here just before I cut the crease so I can have a little more color right here okay now we're just gonna go ahead and cut the crease I think everything else looks pretty good and I'm just gonna grab my NARS um, the soft matte complete concealer and this is in the shade Chantilly it's really light, it's really thick, so I like this for, these are really good for cut creases because um, since it's really thick, it's really gonna hold the, the glitter, the shadow. Just clean up the edges, and then I'm gonna do the other side. And sometimes to clean this up, if you mess up, 
just grab like a really thin pencil brush, dip it into the shade that you use in the crease, and then you can clean it up. And just clean it. It's not always going to be perfect, but... And then I'm just going to blend out the concealer and the edges. I'm just going to use some, like a really small, like dense brush and just blend that out. I might just fix this concealer a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go back with a little bit more of that, um, that magenta shade and that really hot pink color and just go back with that into the crease. Just to cover this concealer that I blended out. So I think I'm gonna put, hmm, I don't wanna put that purple completely over because I don't want it to match like the outer corner. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of, let me see, what does this color look like? It's kind of like a champagne silver color. So what I'm gonna do is, for the inner part of the eye, I think I'm gonna put like this pink shade right here, and then I'm gonna go into the purple. Just so there's like a smooth transition from, you know, pink, purple, so you can see the different colors. If I put all purple, it's gonna look like my whole lid is purple. <laughs> I don't really want that. So I'm gonna put purple like from here out, and then the inner part a lighter color, just so we can see like that gradient effect. And that purple color really pretty. So I'm gonna bring that, that's really pretty. I'm gonna bring that all the way to the crease. Just tapping it. I'm gonna use my finger a little bit. Sometimes it works better with the finger. And then for the inner part, I'm gonna go back to, um, I'm gonna go in that light pink color, that first one I showed you. It's like a really shimmery pink color. Put that on the inner corner. Oh, it actually looks, it's like a pinkish white color. That's pretty. We'll make it work blending it into the purple and then for this last part that I left open I think hmm, I think I'll just use the rest of that purple and just tapping that in and then blending it back to the inner well that looks really metallic <laughs> it's pretty and then for the inner corner I'm gonna go back in with that like champagne color and just pack it in the inner corner just to brighten the eye a little bit that looks so pretty i really like that actually i didn't think it was going to turn out like this <laughs> but i actually like it i'm just going to go back and i'm going to blend the crease blend these colors out a little bit and then I'm just gonna go into eyeliner. This came out really good though. I'm actually really surprised. So I'm gonna go ahead with the NYX matte um, liquid liner. This one's my favorite. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, mascara and lashes. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my eyelashes and I'll be right back. All right, so the lashes are on. Now I just have to do the waterline. Um, put some eyeshadow down on the bottom and put some mascara and then I should be done. Oops. So for the bottom lash line, I think I'm just gonna use, hmm, I think I, I don't wanna match the top. I actually want like a different color. I think I might just use this, uh, this soft warm color, just maybe mix it with this one. I wanna give it a little more, you know, a little more dimension. Normally I would match the top, excuse me. Normally I would match the top, but I feel like the top is like really bright. And I did think about adding yellow to the inner corner, but I think I like it how it is so far. Okay, sorry. Okay, so mascara's on. I don't wanna put any 
Well, maybe I'll put a little bit of eyeliner. I'll put um, a little bit of a brown eyeliner. Where did I put it? Right here. I'm just gonna use a brown eyeliner for the bottom. I'm gonna be using today the Maybelline Master Chrome, was it? Master Chrome um, Highlight. This is what it looks like. This is in the color Molten Gold. And I have been using this one so much. It's so pretty. Put a little bit on the chin. A little bit on the nose. And then on the cheeks. It's like a nice gold shade. my lips I'm just gonna leave my lips alone I'm just gonna leave them I just have like a like a lip a, what is it like lip treatment I don't know lip therapy it's like the Vaseline I love these these help my lips like in the winter like my lips are always chapped since I work in the cold so it's kind of hard to not have my lips chapped so I'm constantly using that so I'm just gonna give my lips a break I don't want to put anything mad I don't want to put gloss nothing just leave it alone I'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair and I'll be right back. I'm back, this is the finished look. I just went ahead and straightened my hair really quick. And this is what the makeup is looking like. I think it's really pretty. I actually really love the palette. I think I would definitely recommend this. Um, I think anybody should have this honestly like in their collection because any color that you can think of is literally here. You want yellow, there's yellow, there's green, there's blue, purple. You know, honestly, there's not red. This is the closest thing to red. But there's like a really good choice selection in here. Like, even this color. Oh, well, they do have like a gold in there, but they have a lot of really good colors. I mean, honestly, you're not going to have too, too many transition shades, but I mean, you can do a lot with this palette. And there's even, honestly, there's a black too. So it's really good. But overall, I really like this palette. I really enjoyed like how the colors blended and the look I came out with. It's like, it's really not what I had in my head, but it came out really good. I really like it. I mean, it's definitely something fun to try like when you're going out or, you know, just to have fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you guys would like to see next. Bye guys.